Hey guys, it is Tanya, and welcome back to the channel. Today I am back with, uh, actually, before I even finish that sentence, if you are watching this, before you watch this, stop this video, do not watch the rest, click the link in the description and go over to Chloe Sims' channel because this is a collab with her and she did the first half of this build, so you're like, what is this? Like, why is this already half built? Yeah, you're not gonna wanna watch my half until you finish watching her half, which you should totally check her out because she is amazing. She does a lot of builds, uh, some with CC, some without, and they're really, really amazing, so you should definitely check that out and also so you kind of understand what's going on with this build. But uh, go do that and then when you come back, I'll, I'll I'll talk to you then. Okay, are you back? You're back? Welcome back. All right, so <laughs> this is a share house club. If you don't know what a share house is, like I'll give you a general description, but I'm also going to look it up so I can see if I can give you like an accurate description, like a perfect definition or whatever. But a share house is generally like a family that or like multiple families, it could be two or more, that are sharing a home, but it's not they have like separate living situations, like there's separate sections for bedrooms and stuff, but they share living spaces. So like um, they share a kitchen and dining room and living room and bathrooms, sometimes bathrooms, uh, but they have separate like bedroom accommodation, like separate sections of their home. And so that's what we were doing today. Uh, I approached Chloe to ask if she would want to do this. And uh, she really liked the idea. So I was really excited to go forward with it because I've always wanted to make a share house. Uh, but I feel like it's kind of more fun to do it if you have like two separate ideas going on because we're two separate people. So we'd come up with two different ideas from two different families that could be sharing this home. So I thought that was really fun to combine those ideas. And also like, because she did the living room and I did the kitchen trying to make those kind of work. And I also feel like places like this a lot of times are renovated at different points in time and might maybe things in it were built at different stages or you know like <laughs> maybe the living room's more updated but the kitchen's older or vice versa so I feel like it's stuff like this it's fine if it doesn't match completely but luckily I sent pictures to Chloe and she seems to really like what I did so hopefully like you guys like it too I think she did an amazing job on her half of the build I was really amazed also because <laughs> she sent me uh we were talking about this and she was like okay I'll send you the build by like the 12th so you can furnish like do your half and I was like okay and um then, then like a day or two later I feel like I, I, I might be exaggerating I don't remember how long ago it was but I wasn't expecting it till the 12th and very soon after she's like I did the whole thing here's the <laughs> send me a screenshot of it and I was like oh my goodness so I ended up working on my half pretty early on too which was really nice to get ahead of it. And also I had so much fun with it. This kitchen changed like 800 different times, but I only <laughs> kept in like this part because it was so drastically different and looked bad. And here I am saying, I'm going to look up what a share house is for you to give you a direct definition. And I'm just like, you know, <laughs> not doing it. I'm getting distracted. No, do not use my current location. I'm like looking up on my phone. What is a share house? Uh, hopefully this doesn't start playing music or something. Um, share houses have the appeal of sharing and exchanges. Share houses are known as rental places with separate spaces separate from a private room where the residents can gather together to share and exchange in a new and exciting way of living. Share houses have lower initial and monthly costs compared to a regular rental apartments and one can live quite reasonably in them. So it's like a reasonable accommodation. Obviously this one I think is probably a little bit more expensive because it's, I would say it's like a higher scale one, but I think the idea of share houses is really cool. Uh, it says share spaces and share houses include the lounge where residents can gather together, the kitchen, shower rooms, and bathrooms. Uh, some share houses are community focused with themes on common interests such as sports, cycling, gardening, and others. Uh, this is just one of the articles I'm reading. I don't think we went for a certain theme because I imagined most of the interests the families had would be in their own accommodations. And I don't know, I just, I thought it was fun. And we didn't discuss having a theme, although I think that would be fun if you guys downloaded this and renovated it. I believe both of our versions should be on the gallery. I don't think I uploaded mine yet, but I will after I finish recording this voiceover. But I know Chloe's version, which is like basically a functioning house without a kitchen, if you just want to add a kitchen somewhere, <laughs> is on the gallery. And I believe it's called like Miss Griffey Share House Collab. I believe that's in the description or the title of this, uh, of the lot that you can see on screen now. So that's 
a possibility. Uh, <laughs> I also added the basketball hoop in the backyard and a jungle gym in the front for our kids to play on. I ended up having a bedroom with toddler beds in it, so at some point the kids will age up. But I imagine for a share house, it probably has all kinds of accommodations and stuff for like any family that could live here because it's it's not like these people bought this house and made it the way they wanted it. So they moved into like a half of a rental that they're sharing with another family. So I would assume that the basketball hoop and the jungle gym and the pool in the backyard are all things that came with the rental property that they didn't have specific families in mind. So I think that's kind of cool because it doesn't necessarily have to match the families that we imagined would be in this home. And I think that's also really fun. I don't know why, but I get like a kick out of when I build a home and I just add all the wallpaper and floorings and stuff and I just see the empty home because it looks like what you'd be looking at when you're looking on like rental websites and apartments and house shopping and stuff. And I've been really into that recently because I'm actually going to be moving real like next, technically next year, 10 months from now, I'm counting the days. I'm not really counting the days. Um, but um, my boyfriend got a job recently and I'm really excited to, we're gonna actually move closer to where I work, which is really exciting for me because I have almost an hour commute to work every day and I'm, I'm just going to be really excited to find the right place. We've been already looking at apartments, even though it's way too early to do so. And yeah, I know that's super off topic, but <laughs> one thing leads to another. That's how these voiceovers go. Uh, this is the bedroom that I made for like the parent or parents that would be in this home. And I think it's pretty cozy. And I really love this bed that came with Jungle Adventure. I feel like I use it a lot because I really love the frame on it. Um, I wish we had more swatches though. I, I'm gonna complain till the day we get it, which will probably be never, that I really want beds to work like the way they did in The Sims 2 for swatches, where you can change the frame and the cover separately. Like, ah, oh, it's so frustrating because like when you find the perfect bedspread or the perfect frame and it doesn't come with the color that you want it to be, it's just, I, I want all my furniture to match and I'm fine with no color wheel if we ever get that. Because I don't, I don't, I feel like I don't need a color wheel anymore. And I kind of like having these predetermined swatches because a lot of them are better colors than I might pick out myself, which is kind of sad to say because I feel like I should be really good at that because I'm a graphic designer, but like <laughs> maybe sometimes I'm not. Uh, so there's that. <laughs> but I think it would be nice to get those separate swatches at some point. But this is the toddler's room. It's very blue and green, which I feel like is my blue and green and blue and orange are my go-to kids room colors. For whatever reason, I think they go together well. So I've, I think that's happened like twice on the channel this week, so I apologize for that. It's just my favorite color scheme. I don't, I don't know. Everyone has a favorite color scheme that they stick to, and mine always include blue, which is a problem. But, you know, we're gonna not address the prog problem today, and we're just gonna continue building this kid's room. I tried adding these flowers, but I didn't like how they looked in the end. But I do overall like this room. It's very like nature inspired, and I don't know, I just really liked it. I don't, use some of these wallpapers that often so it was kind of nice to change it up a little bit and use those uh so i'm happy i did that also added some twinkle lights above the beds i just wanted it to be kind of like magical forest like in here for whichever toddlers end up in this room of course whoever you move in you can always swap those out for other beds as well maybe kid, like regular kid beds because anyone could have this room if you go ahead and download this house uh but that's the floor we did to end or the wallpaper I got to end with. I cannot speak today. It is 4.47 in the morning. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, anyway, we're just adding some last little bits of touches out here with the landscaping kind of matching what Chloe did on the other side. Uh, but that's pretty much what we did in this build. It's not too much more than this. Just fixing stuff up a little bit, adding some more ivy. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you definitely went and saw the first part of this video before you watched mine because I think she did an amazing job. I haven't seen the build of it yet, but obviously I saw it when I was furnishing this and I can't wait to watch her half of the speed build. It was so much fun to collab and I would love to do it again sometime. So thank you so much for collabing with me and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye everybody.